Hi students. Problem number 7 is based on this graph. The current through an element is shown below. Determine the total charge passed through the element at a time t equal to 0 second, t equal to 2 second and t equal to 5 second. Now the current is defined as the rate of flow of electric charges. So I equal to dQ divided by dt. From this equation we can write dQ is equal to I into dt. I into dt. So when variable charges flow through a conductor, this equation dQ is equal to I into dt can be used. Now you can take the first one. So in the first case, I into dt. That is when time t equal to. So if time t equal to 0. If t equal to 0 second. Then dq is equal to. dq is equal to. At 0 seconds you find out the current. It is 10 ampere is it not? At 0 seconds the current is 10 ampere. So i is equal to 10. So 10 into time is 0. So 10 into 0 is equal to 0. Second case. If. T is equal to 2 seconds. Okay. T equal to 2 seconds. So you can look at this picture now. At time T equal to 2 seconds. You see that what is the current flowing through the element. It is 5 ampere. Is it not? So dQ is now equal to. dQ is now equal to I into dT. So I at time T equal to 0. I is equal to 5. Therefore this is 5 into time is 2. So 5 into 2 is equal to 10 coulomb. And the third case. The third case. Time t is equal to 5 seconds. Okay. Time t equal to 5 seconds. At 5 seconds you can see that the graph has touched the x-axis. Is it not? So the current is 0. Therefore dq must be equal to. dq must be equal to i. i is 0. So 0 into 5. This is equal to 0. Okay, shall we go to the next one? Okay, now you look at the problem number 8. So an electronics hobbyist, a person who is doing electronics projects as a hobby, okay, hobbyist, is building a radio which requires 150 ohm. Okay, she requires 150 ohm, but she has only 220 ohm, 79 ohm and 92 ohm resistors available. How can she get the desired value of 150 ohm? By what combination of these three resistors sir, she can construct 150 ohm? So we can take all the three in parallel, all the three in series or any two, first two as parallel and the third one is in series or the second and the third in parallel and the first one in series. So all possible combinations you have to try out first. Okay. Now let us try the first two resistors, the first two resistors, namely 220 ohm and 79 ohm in parallel. Okay, so this is 220 ohm and this is 79 ohm in parallel and this is in series with what? 92 ohm. Okay, 92 ohm. Okay, now the parallel combination of these two, the parallel combination of these two. So this can be written as what R parallel, R parallel is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay, so this is now equal to R1 into R2 is 220 multiplied by 79 divided by 220 plus 79. Okay, plus 79. So the denominator is 220 plus 79 is 299. Okay, 299. Okay, now the numerator I am going to multiply with a calculator. I am going to multiply with the calculator. So 220 into 79. 220 into 79 is found to be 17380. So 17380. So once again we have to find the the ratio of 173.80. Understand? So this divided by 299. So this is 
173880 divided by 299 so this is found to be 58 okay this is found to be 58 ohm this value you can practice using a calculator so what is the value of the parallel combination alone this r parallel itself is a 58 ohm this 58 ohm in series with a 92 ohm is it not therefore uh, r equivalent r equivalent is equal to this uh, 58 uh, plus uh, 92 so this 58 plus 2 is a uh, 60 60 plus 90 is equal to what uh, 150 ohm like this suppose uh, by uh, randomly we tried uh, like this so first attempt itself is coming as correct answer if not you will have to go to the various combinations okay have you understood okay fine